I had a viewer uh, make a comment uh, a couple of days ago. It's the endothelium. And yes, that, uh, that viewer was right. In fact, it comes up at least once a day in the work that I do. Everybody's blaming LDL, uh, the bad cholesterol. According to them, according to most people, and according to the uh, assumptions, it's LDL. Um, I'm going to get the. I'm getting going to give you a few images that I got from uh, Brad and Brad Bale and uh, Amy Donine. Um, I did a, a good bit of work with uh, them recently. Went through their courses. Uh, they've got a great program teaching docs, dentists, other healthcare workers, and the public um, regarding cardiovascular inflammation. And this whole point that it's not LDL so much; it's cardiovascular inflammation. Um, <clears throat> Now, why? Do, and this uh, this image actually is a uh, uh, cartoon that Brad had uh, one of his family members do, um, and it's a really good one. Now, <clears throat> this is really just focused though on uh, lipoproteins. As you look through here, we're talking about uh, LP little a, uh, very low density lipoproteins (LDL), uh, small dense LDL. Yes, you got some bad actors in there, but <clears throat> are those really the major issues? You can get LDL problems. Um, it's inherited and it's not very common. It's um, uh, familial hypercholesterolemia, FH. You can look that up on the internet. Now, <clears throat> and if you have questions about it, just put them below and I'll help you in terms of finding information about familial hypercholesterolemia. Um, I think I did a video on it uh, a while back. Now, it, here's one of the reasons why it's so easy to assume that it's LDL. If you go back and you look, uh, again, this uh, image is also from Brad and Amy. The major concerns that we have in terms of your, of your typical artery are three layers. <clears throat> the intima or endothelial layer, the media, which is the muscle layer, which provides that structure so the intima doesn't blow apart with the blood pressure, and then the adventitia, which keeps the artery in place. In terms of cardiovascular inflammation and LDL and plaque, it's really those two uh, internal uh, layers that, that create the, uh, that's where the action is. Now, again, if you go back and look at an artery, um, these past two images were, were images of uh, arteries that in people that have had a heart attack. Here's that media layer. Here's the intima or endothelial layer. And all of this is plaque. Most people have the, they think of an analogy of um, your shower drain or, or a tub drain filling with hair, clogging with hair. That's not really the way it happens. Hair is on the inside of the pipe. As you see, Plaque is not really on the inside of the pipe. It's between the inner layer, the lining, and that muscle layer. And here's where the real issue comes in, inflammation. That's a liquid pocket where the immune system has attacked that plaque. And if that liquid pocket gets out there, uh, go, breaks through this intimal layer, liquid plaque or inflamed plaque can cause a clot in the patient to, uh, you know, if it's a big enough clot and it goes to a big enough place, like the heart, it's a heart attack. Or if it goes, if it's big enough and it goes to the brain, it's a stroke. That's exactly what happened here. This is the intima layer. This is the media layer. All of this in between is plaque. This section used to be one of these, which is a small area of uh, plaque inflammation, the immune system attacking that. And you see it's starting to turn brown there. This turned completely brown, <clears throat> liquefied, and this black stuff is not really liquid plaque anymore. This black stuff is a clot. So you had uh, breaks in the intima, you had inflammation, some of that liqu hot liquid plaque uh, went out into the bloodstream and formed a clot. Now, <clears throat> here's the problem. The biggest part of this clot, as you see, this clot actually went on up into the uh, the area where that um, 
that hot plaque was in between the intima and media layers. But here's the big issue. The vast majority of this clot is not seen. It has floated up or downstream in terms of the artery, and that is what killed this patient, caused a heart attack. That clot did. Now let's go back, though. <clears throat> so the, again, the question is, LDL, why does it get all the, the uh, blame? A couple of reasons. Number one, that's what docs tend to keep looking for. And again, uh, the standards of medicine, when, you, when they treat with statins, most guys are just looking at LDL. <clears throat> now, again, if your LDL is very high, it can cause a more rapid uh, plaque buildup. But again, it's the endothelium. That, uh, that commenter, that viewer was correct. Now, what causes the end endothelium uh, to, uh, to get inflamed? Well, there's a lot of things. Um, <clears throat> As, again, this is also from Brad and Amy's uh, group. As you see, genetics, obstructive sleep apnea, lifestyle, genetics, dysfunctional, uh, HDL, etc. Now, <clears throat> there's a key one that I don't see on here. Oh, yes, here we go. Nicotine exposure. Smoking. Smoking is a huge cause of uh, endothelial inflammation um, and cardiovascular inflammation. Now, as we know, uh, and, and as you see with this channel, uh, I do this for a living, and um, I see it time and time and time again. The major cause is insulin resistance. Uh, and the major causes of insulin resistance, uh, some people think are obesity. Yes, that's clearly one of them. Getting older is a bigger one. Um, <clears throat> as we get into our 50s and 60s, beyond 60, we tend to get... Uh, insulin resistant. Over half of us by that point, by age 60, have insulin resistance. Now, <clears throat> let's go back. This image helps, under, helps us understand a little bit more about, um, about LDL and its role and the endothelium and its role. This is the endothelium. This is plaque, and this is the media of the artery. The intima, or endothelium, uh, in this case, is developing um, holes, uh, inflammation, cracks. Um, and again, that can come from all of these things that we talked about up here. But in terms of my patient population and the majority of us, it's insulin resistance that causes that. Um, what within insulin resistance? You could start talking about, well, insulin itself causes that. There's a good case to be made for that. Also, just the hyperglycemia associated with it. But um, no matter what, how that debate ends up, if you get cracks in your endothelium, you're going to get this LDL flowing out of the bloodstream and into underneath the uh, endothelium and lodging there between the endothelium and the uh, media. This is a, um, a great image from Berkeley Heart Lab showing an early process, and the process continues to get worse and worse. This is the endothelium, or intima, and this is the media, and this is increasing plaque um, deposition. As you get to these uh, further areas on the right, you see inflammation. Uh, it's starting to, the plaque is starting to turn red, and uh, here, uh, hot liquid plaque is even spewed out into the artery, and again, we know what happens there. You get a clot, um, and you get you, nothing good is going to come from forming clots. Thank you very much for your interest.